The world ends apocalyptically in the near future due to pandemics, climate change, water scarcity, and power grid collapses. All of Australia is wilderness, with the exception of a little settlement, called, the green place of many mothers. As Furiosa and her pal are harvesting peaches, they hear a disturbance out of the blue. Furiosa investigates despite her friend's warnings, and finds a group of motorbike marauders. She removes the gas pipe from one of their bikes, but just as she is ready to do the other, a rider named Toe Jam finds her. Without delay, Furiosa stabs his legs, and flees while sounding a whistle to alert the townspeople. Sadly, the bikers catch up to her, and use a whip to capture her. Mary, the mother of Furiosa, and a group of fighters soon start riding after the motorcyclists. After they shoot down a rider, Mary uses her blade to finish him off, and then takes his bike. The village chief supplies Mary with plenty of ammunition and warns her that no one, who knows the location of their home must reside there before she sets off to save Furiosa. Mary then shoots, and kills another rider from a distance, causing the remaining two guys to pause and assess the situation. Furiosa bites another gas pipe to break it while they are preoccupied. The bikers take off, when they see Mary approaching, and Mary takes advantage of the opportunity to use the stolen bike to fix the fallen one, and extend her gas supply. The pursuit goes on, and eventually a bike runs out of gas, in the middle of the night. When the men begin arguing over what to do, Furiosa seizes the opportunity to cut the ropes around her wrists and flee. Sadly, the motorcyclist approaches her, and takes her back with him. When Mary discovers in the morning that they have arrived at the biker's camp, she shoots one rider down, leaving Toad Jam and Furiosa alone. When he tries to take Furiosa to their leader, she charges at him and throws Toad's own weapon into the wheel, causing him to crash. He tells his friends that he has found a place of abundance. Following that, Furiosa and a seriously injured Toad Jam are brought to see the commander, a warlord by the name of Dementis. Furiosa tries to kick Dementis after Toad Jam dies while trying to respond to his inquiries, and the others have to pull her back. Dementis chooses to retain her, and treat her well because she won't tell them where her house is, intending to gain her trust by deceit. Mary steals the biker's armor outside the camp as they flee an approaching sandstorm. She then sneaks into the camp and begins murdering people till she comes across Furiosa's tent. She murders another man, but she feels sorry for the lady, who is washing Furiosa since she says she is a mother and a victim too. But the moment Mary and Furiosa walk out, the woman sounds the alarm. Mary needs to pause and change out of her clothes after a guard shoots at her, and sets her back on fire. They speed away on the bike, but Mary hears Dementis and his group approaching. She gives Furiosa a peach seed to plant later, and instructs her to head home without her. Mary then uses a shot to take down a rider, but she is quickly encircled, and overcome. When Furiosa returns after hearing the disturbance, she finds Mary being hung by the gang from a structure that resembles a crucifix. She is hurt by their questions about her origins, but she won't betray her people. Furiosa is made to watch by Dementis while he tastes her tears as his troops slaughter Mary. Later on, Dementis locks Furiosa in a cage, and has her watch shows that his people deem amusing. The chosen riders mount bikes that pull chains to dismember a man after they engage in ferocious combat to determine who would participate in the ceremony. Furiosa receives a teddy bear from Dementis that once belonged to his daughters, but she discards it without saying anything. The history man offers to teach Furiosa to read and write so she can become useful to Dementis the following day as they ride away, but Furiosa rejects him. I think she's made the decision to remain silent forever. Furiosa discovers some ink one night in the cage among the bags, and she uses it to tattoo a star chart on her arm so she would always know how to come home. A few days later, while Dementis group is exploring a wasteland, they notice a crimson smoke eruption. They travel to the location of a war boy, a particular kind of soldier who defends a Morton Joe from the Citadel. War boy believes they are referring to the Citadel when Dementis asks about a place of abundance, so he leads them there. All slaves flee to hide in dread as soon as they get at Citadel. Dementis asks to meet the leader, threatening to harm them if they refuse to comply but promising riches and freedom in exchange. Immortan Joe, the commander, then appears, and his aide begs Dementis to select a war boy so that they can carry on with the talks. One boy is selected, and he gets his teeth painted before jumping from a bridge, sliding down some cables, plummeting, and exploding to death. According to Joe's assistant, the war lads are prepared to die for Joe, and as the commanders go, the lads launch an attack on Dementis gang. Numerous guys lose their lives, and several motorcycles are taken and secured with chains. The slaves steal Furiosa's cage as well, and open it to take both her and the history man hostage. Just in time, Dementis intervenes to save them from their clutches. Dementis' group is now forced to retreat. Dementis and his gang arrive at Gastown, 
the second fortress of the wasteland, after a while, they wait for one of the convoys to pull out of town, before encircling it on the road and murdering every man who was defending them. The convoy is then driven back to Gastown by a few bikers dressed as war boys, with Dementis and the other guys trailing behind, and acting as though they are under attack. The gatekeepers initially object to opening, believing something is wrong. The gates are unlocked in order to save the convoy after Dementis decides to begin murdering his own troops, in disguise in order to make it appear legitimate. Although the bikers aren't supposed to be inside, other gang members, who were hidden in the truck emerge, encircle the gatekeepers, and force them to open the gates. Dementis quickly enters the town with his army and seizes control. Shortly after, Immortan Joe receives a digit from the gas town leader, and consents to call a meeting. The leader of the town is injured by Dementis, when he shows up with a gadget attached to his nipples. The leader begs his brother Joe for forgiveness, but after Joe's boys attack, Dementis kills the man in vengeance, removing his nipples in the process. He goes on to say that he has planted bombs around Gastown and that only he knows the combination to set them off or activate them. Unless he is formally recognized as Gastown's leader, he will blow up the town. Dementis claims that Furiosa is her daughter, but Joe seems to be more interested in her. Furiosa disputes this and says her mother was killed by Dementis. Ultimately, Immortan Joe grants Dementis access to Gastown in return for Furiosa and a motorcyclist. Despite his disapproval, Dementis concedes and returns his bear before departing. Following that, Joe declares that Furiosa will become one of his wives, and that she will be living with his harem. Furiosa needs to keep an eye on how Joe courses the other ladies, even though they are all kind. When a woman gives birth to a daughter one day, Joe calls her a letdown because he only desires males. Furiosa gets uncomfortable as Joe's youngster keeps caressing her hair during this. Furiosa later confesses in private that she still holds her mother's peach seed. In an effort to hide from the others, she also begins chopping her hair and creating a wig out of candle wax and a net. When Joe's kid eventually brings Furiosa to his room with the intention of abusing her, Furiosa just flees, leaving the wig behind but not before he grabs her by the hair. The man comes hunting for Furiosa as she jumps and hides beneath the bridge, only to be discovered by his brother. He throws the wig away and departs without finding the girl since he doesn't want to get into any difficulty with Joe. Later on, Furiosa pretends to be a boy and keeps quiet in order to be recognized as just another employee. She quickly earns a spot among the mechanics, who manage the chains to take up old cars, because she is an excellent climber and jumper. Since Furiosa pretended to be silent, and followed Joe's devotion rites, she avoids being found out for 15 years. A massive drill known as the Bomby Knocker is added to a new, potent war rig that the mechanics are tasked with building one day. Praetorian Jack, who has achieved the greatest success on the road thus far, will be operating this rig. After putting in a lot of work, Jack takes the rig on its first voyage and is met with a group of renegade Dementis gang members who have formed their own organization. They attack the rig from above by using parachutes attached to the bikes. One by one, the war boys start dying, and some of them purposefully fall off the rig to keep it safe. Jack simply keeps driving, crashing into both war boys and bikers. As part of the convoy, Furiosa is riding a bike when she gets under the rig, and is spared from another enemy bomb. After the mechanic gets killed, she takes his tool and starts repairing the damage. The adversary places some dynamite beneath the rig as they continue to attack it, but Furiosa kicks the motorcyclist away and neutralizes the explosive. The bikers soon begin ascending the rig, but Jack can drive more quickly when Furiosa resolves the problem, frightening off some foes and allowing the war boys to kill the rest. In addition to all the sacrifices the war boys make in Joe's honor in order to enter Valhalla, there are sadly too many bikers, and they are slain one by one. Furiosa loses her cap as a truck explodes and crashes into the front of the rig. When she emerges from beneath the rig, Jack at last realizes the reality. As the motorcyclists unexpectedly approach, Furiosa and Jack fire at them to drive them off their car. Then Furiosa shoots an arrow into the leg of a biker, who is approaching on a flying bike after killing him with a mechanical arm. Subsequently, she instructs the final war boy to initiate the drill and retreats under the hatch while the final enemy, in flight is eliminated by the drill suction. He fires one final shot before passing away, killing the last war boy. After that, Furiosa asks Jack to stop the rig by threatening him with a gun. Jack shoves her away, and drives away, only to make a dramatic return. A few minutes later, he offers to start anew with her, saying he's lost everything and that he doesn't care about her gender because she's a wonderful warrior. Furiosa decides to work with Jack after he assures her that he would teach her everything there is to know about traveling and surviving. 
Furiosa subsequently takes on the role as Jack's right hand, and the two of them travel together as Joe runs. When they stop at Gastown one day for fuel, they find that the town is collapsing due to Dementus' terrible leadership, and the near-complete depletion of supplies. Despite Furiosa's advanced age, Dementus sees her but is unable to identify her. He requests a warlord's meeting, and Jack consents to deliver the message to Joe. However, the citizens erupt into rioting before they can depart. Jack's group escapes right away, with Furiosa driving and Jack shooting anyone who approaches too closely. Though Furiosa has been stabbed in the shoulder, they are able to go through the gate before things get out of hand. Without delay, Jack handles it delicately. They convey Dementus' message upon their return to the fortress. After an argument between Joe's kids and his assistant on what to do, Joe gives Jack the order to fetch every weapon they can locate from Bullet Farm. Subsequently, in private, Jack explains how his parents passed away, sutures Furiosa's wound, and inquires about her tattoo. He wishes to assist her in locating the area of plenty, and Furiosa invites him to accompany her after demonstrating the seed. When they depart for Bullet Farm the following day, Jack forces Furiosa to operate one of the security trucks rather than the rig. They learn that Dementis and his troops arrived earlier than they did. Furiosa drives right back through the gate after Jack signals before the enemy hits, but the other truck gets crushed and the rig becomes stranded inside. While Furiosa kills the gatekeeper and uses her gun to aid her friend get through the gate, Jack begins shooting others. Furiosa runs to the truck to wait for Jack, when he returns to the rig and hits the gate after spotting her. Rather than accompanying her, Jack detonates a green smoke bomb to signal for further help and presses on, destroying adversaries while turning on the drill. Furiosa tries to drive away, but she feels guilty about it and turns around, returning as a sniper and slipping back into the farm. Furiosa kills a number of other guys while Dementis avoids her shots, but her final bullet just scrapes Dementis' flesh. Jack then starts using the equipment to hit every building, leaving Dementis hanging over a bridge. Jack begins to get out of the rig before it falls because a tower that is falling on top of it gets stuck in a hole. With a hook, Furiosa quickly saves him while riding a bike. The two run away right away and decide to follow Furiosa's map. After being saved in the interim by an excavator, Dementis gives the order for his soldiers to pursue Jack and Furiosa then lower the gate with a large truck so they can escape. They soon catch up, and there's a shootout. When Dementis parks his truck directly next to Furiosa's automobile, her tattooed arm gets crushed in the space created by the two cars' impact, and the car crashes as a result of the massive truck's impact. The pair is then apprehended. Jack is being slowly tortured to death by being pulled about on the back of a bike. Furiosa is made to watch Jack die while being hanging from the back of the vehicle by her injured arm. Dementis spends the next few hours sleeping on his truck while observing the motorcycles as they go in a circle, producing a large cloud of dust. When he's at last bored, he goes to see how Furiosa is doing and finds that she's managed to get away by hiding behind the dust cloud and leaving her arm behind. She attached the truck's chain to a wheel, which breaks off when he starts the engine, as he finds out when he tries to chase after her. Furiosa eventually passes out from walking in the sweltering sun after the bike she stole runs out of gas. Thankfully, she is located and returned by a citadel guard. In order to stop an infection, a medic puts maggots to her wounds. The moment she wakes up, she exits the sick bay and demands to see Joe. She addresses Joe as Praetorian Furiosa in Jack's recollection, informing him that Dementis is arriving with a large cache of weapons. There is smoke in the background, and Furiosa says Joe is going to go to Gastown and leave the Citadel unprotected, since Dementis is purposely burning the town down. Joe makes the decision to mislead Dementis by pretending to travel to Gastown, and Furiosa begs him to give her his head. A few minutes later, Dementis joyfully declares that they are headed to the Citadel after spotting a number of trucks heading towards Gastown. Subsequently, Joe's helper signals for the trucks to return. Dementis and Joe's men engage in a brutal fight, on the road over the next 40 days, killing each other with various weapons. Furiosa shaves her head and constructs a mechanical arm to replace the one she lost. She then requests a car from the mechanics. She grabs the only remaining automobile in the Citadel even though it is missing a wheel. The history man refers to her as the fifth rider of the apocalypse as she locates the location where Joe's boys are repairing their vehicles to carry on the fight and snatches one. A few days later, Dementis discovers two of his men have been shot down while traveling with his few surviving soldiers. He orders his group to divide in order to try to ambush the approaching automobile. Driving quickly, Furiosa strikes bicyclists with her car to knock them down before pursuing the lead automobile. But it's an old man using Dementus' cape as a lure. She seizes the cape and pushes the man despite his resistance, killing him in a quicksand pit. After that, 
she keeps an eye on the motorcyclist in an attempt to locate Dementis. She spots a man with long hair, but upon witnessing him fall, she realizes it was just another disguise. As everyone else flees to assist him in carrying out the plan, Furiosa surmises that Dementis is the sole biker who is leaving. Shortly after, Dementis finds his water bottle sliced, when he wakes up beneath the cloth he's hiding behind. Furiosa is waiting for him when he emerges, and Dementis tries to shoot her, but runs out of ammunition. He makes an attempt to flee, but when he realizes the car is pursuing him, he drops to his knees and gives up. When Furiosa appears, dressed in his cape, she asks him if he remembers her, but Dementis only recognizes her as Jack's partner, taking her knife with him. Furiosa is able to take him out because of his distraction when it turns out to be only a broken handle. Dementis is locked up when he awakens. When Furiosa informs Dementis about all the suffering and death she and her mother endured 15 years ago, he doesn't understand and believes Furiosa is just one more of his victims at random. Subsequently, Dementis continues to speak incoherently as Furiosa begins to beat him severely. He suddenly had a seizure and collapses upon the sand. Dementis ultimately understands who Furiosa is when she uses her arm to break the bear's shackles and capture it. He suggests that they work together to become formidable warlords, but Furiosa drops the bear and ultimately exacts her retribution. Some claim that she shoots him in the head, while others claim that she drags him behind her car and leaves him there, like he did to her mother. In reality, Furiosa carries him into the citadel and plants Mary's seed there, utilizing Dementus' nutrition to help it grow into a peach tree. She assists Joe's wives in making their vehicle escape after they have fruit, which sets off the events of the previous film, Fury Road.